there are many standing computer setups out there. But this one is mine! And trust me, there isn't another one quite like it! It has an attached surge protector! Because reason! All cables loomed up! Tighter than usual! A camera stand that may as well be for the director's set! Metal! Resting dock for a controller! Its name is Charles! Um... I I ignore the cat. No! Does your desk have a built-in drink holder? I don't think so! State-of-the-art linchpin technology! And two monitor! Because I want it to! And, 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 it's, and it's, it's convenient. convenient. Shut up! Hey guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of attempted humor. Uh, excuse me if my voice sounds a little bit out of whack. Uh, I think you know why I did a lot of, uh, a lot of screaming in that video for no good reason, but hopefully it was worth it. I know my uh, brother and my roommate were busting a gut laughing at me, sounding like a retard the whole time, but uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's get a little more in depth with the, uh, with the standing setup, huh? Alright, starting from the ground up, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to, uh, give it a nice wide base, give me a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sort of a, uh, range of motion limiter, I, or something, I don't know. Point being, I wanted it to have a nice wide base, and I wanted to have the, uh, computer off the ground. So, that's what I did. And, quite by accident, had a nice little cubby for my uh, boots and my shoes to tuck under when I'm not wearing said thingies of footwear. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that, that seems to, uh, that seems to be my uh, life in a nutshell. A series of of convenient accidents that happen to work out in my favor. <laughs> um, so I don't have a whole lot of bright shiny lights in there, but it's a nice uh, it's a nice computer, despite the uh, haggard, disgusting look of the case itself. The case I've actually had since high school. I've just never really needed to or I ra rather, I've never felt the need to get a new one for the sake of looking fancy. Because, honestly, I, I thought to myself, who really cares but me? Now, now that I'm showing it off on YouTube, uh, yeah, I, I kind of maybe should have cleaned it up a bit. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, unlike most people, I don't have a whole lot of fancy lights in there to show off the innards of my computer. Uh, but I do have a pretty decent motherboard, a uh, an MSI Gaming 5. I don't remember exactly which model it is. But I have that, an Intel i5 processor with about 12 gigabytes of RAM, give or take, and there, of course, is my, uh, my, uh, I'm blanking on the name again, my GTX 1060, uh, GPU, which I did do a, uh, unboxing video of sorts early on in my YouTube annals or whatever and uh yeah other than that there's not much to talk about then there's the Presonus audio box USB which connects my microphone to the computer so that I can have good audio come from my mouth hole <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I 
Eh, get that out. Get that out of the way. Moved the uh, switch controller real quick. As you can see, I do have a couple of external hard drives. That's where I keep most of the video files so that I don't clutter up the uh, the internal hard drive of the computer. And yeah, you see that I have a, a um, cable box and a couple of remotes. The, obviously, the Xfinity cable remote is uh, for the cable. And uh, as far as the uh, other remote goes, well, my monitors are actually a pair of uh, ViewSonic TVs. So, when I want to, That was perfectly timed, and I don't even know. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, but yeah, I, I use one of my monitors as my TV for when I want to watch the, uh, the regular programming of television and whatnot. So, yeah. Um... The stand itself, um, I know the camera perch looks a little bit slapped together, and uh, you're kind of right. I, it was a little bit of an afterthought, but uh, I did have an idea of having the camera perch attached either permanently or not permanently to the upper half of the stand when I designed it and uh, oh and another thing regarding being able to watch TV with it that's another awesomeness about it I can flip the monitors around and watch lazily from my bed which is a mess right now sorry uh, but but yeah there's there's my fancy pants microphone a uh, CAD Audio D82. Now, I when I picked that up, I really didn't do a whole lot of research on it. And, but it's worked out pretty well for me so far. I actually lucked out and found it at a pawn shop uh, and talked them down to 40 bucks to get it. So, And I think... Personally, it's worked out pretty darn well so far. I mean, I'm always up for an finding an upgrade, but for the time being, this one works pretty well, and there's no reason to immediately try and swap out. It's not a potato, so. But yeah, and then the standard keyboard and mouse keyboard and mouse. Yes, if you couldn't tell by now, I am left-handed, so the mouse is over there. <laughs> and when I'm on Skype calls, hey look, webcam! <laughs> so, unfortunately, my friends have to look up my nose whenever we're doing a collaboration and we're Skyping. But, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure people will ask, why, is, why are there linchpins there in the first place? Well, part of the design allows the monitor stand, half of it, to slide down so that they're in a lower position easier for sitting down at the desk when I feel like I need to sit down so yeah with it with them just being held in with linchpins it becomes kind of a pain to switch from a low position to a high position 
that and I didn't think about the placement of the microphone when I did that but you know like I said there are a few things that I want to tweak and eventually I may add hydraulic arms to the uh, to the setup so that it will be easier to move up and down it all really depends but yeah I actually had a lot of fun building this thing, designing it, planning it out, mostly in my head, but that's just how I roll. <laughs> so there you go, a, a quick walk around of my, uh, my setup, equipment, and uh, all that good stuff. I didn't know if there was any interest in seeing the process of how I put a video together or, or how I start my recording sessions. So let me know in the comments below if you want a, want a video focusing on on that process that I go through. And because there are a lot of different methods for different people. It, there's there's no right and wrong way to actually do that well given what I given what Brad life has told me about how he synchronizes his videos uh, there may actually be a wrong way <laughs> let me know if you want to see a video showing you how I go through the process of of setting up to record and synchronizing my videos for the edits and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. <laughs>